This is Boxing Talk 8576. I want to talk about uh, um, past 140-pound um, um, champion, Casa Zhu. Um, talk a little bit about his career. Uh, Casa Zhu, uh, you know, he was from Russia. Um, uh, he went to uh, Australia. Um, he then, you know, made up, met up with a, a trainer by the name of Johnny Lewis. And he began, you know, training and um to become his dream was to become the undisputed um super lightweight champion at 140 pounds. He um he kind of started off his career kind of kind of he had a fast start. He fought a lot of, you know, good fighters, you know, good contenders. He fought uh Livingston Bramble. Uh, you know, Livingston Bramble, uh, I don't know if people know him. Um, he's best known for having those two fights with Ray Boom Boom Mancini. You remember, you remember Ray Boom Boom Mancini back in the, the 80s? You know, he was one of the um, the recognizable fighters back then. Um, he thoroughly dominated Livingston Bramble. This was like his 11th fight. And at this point in time, I think Livingston Bramble had like over 30-something fights. So he was fighting a veteran fighter. This was his his eleven fight. Uh, he dominated the fight uh, with crisp, uh, you know, jab, um, a crisp, you know, crisp um, ca uh, counter punching. Uh, he had he was throwing um, beautiful, beautiful combinations. He remind me of a uh, a Walmart Juan Mel uh, Marquez with his combinations, but he just. More heavy-handed than, than uh, Marquez. Uh, Kazuzu, uh, he just, one thing I noticed, you know, and I noticed in a lot of his fights, that he didn't move his head that much. He was one, he was a come-forward fighter, so he, he liked to put pressure on you, but he don't move his head. It's like he wasn't worried about the other guy, you know, punching him. But, you know, that that can be detriment to your, you know, uh, when you fight a, a fighter that can punch, you know. But uh, Livingston Bramble... He even said after the fight that uh, they gave him the microphone, he said Kazuzu was the best fighter he fought ever fought. And he said he fought some good fighters. And um, that was high praise for a guy that only had 11 fights up to that point. Uh, then he fought uh, a tough, rugged fighter, you know, by the name of, uh, I think his name was Hector Lopez. Yeah, Hector Lopez. Uh, this was a good, good fight, a good test. Uh, this is like one of those fights where you want to see your up-and-coming fighter in against a, a rugged, tough guy that's going to not give up a lot of ground. It's not going to let your fighter um, dominate the fight. Uh, Lopez took the fight to Kazuzu. This was a really close fight, man. Um, <clears throat> Kazuzu won the fight. I thought he won the fight because he had more clean, clean and effective punches especially early in the fight. Uh, I see him getting kind of tired later in the fight. This tends to happen to young fighters when they're first tested and pushed uh, in the fight for the first time. Uh, but he, he answered the bell. He he answered all the questions, you know, in this fight. He answered that um, he can go hard rounds with a tough guy. Um, you know, when he was tired, he didn't fall apart. You know, like... You know, some fighters in that situation would have fell apart, but he did very, very well. Uh, it was a tough fight, close fight, but he pulled it out. Um, he fought uh, a, a tall, lanky fighter. You know, this guy, Angel Hernandez, he was really tall, really long. He looked like he was about six feet tall. Uh, Kazuzu, in his first two fights, those last two fights I talked about, about Bramble, and Hector uh, Lopez, those guys, he came forward, pressuring those guys. He tried to come forward on this guy, but this guy was so t so tall, so long, and using his jab. Uh, this is the first time I've seen Casa Zoo kind of patient in the ring. The first couple fights I've seen, he was kind he, he was kind of pushing the action, trying to be you know fast, trying to be quick. But this fight, he had to he had to bring out you know some different attributes he had to fight with with a uh, pace because this guy was awkward he was tall he was trying to figure him out uh but he you know he finally figured him out uh he started catching the guy with body shots 
you know, because the guy was long. Uh, he uh, caught the guy with numerous, numerous, numerous right hands, and then he knocked the guy down. Not, not the guy through the ropes. The guy got up though, but he knocked the guy through the ropes. Um, and then he, just, then he just uh, progressively got uh, more aggressive in the fight. Uh, this guy was ranked, you know, six by the uh, IBF, and the Hector Lopez guy was ranked uh six by the WBC and, and eighth by the WBA. So he was he was fighting guys that were highly ranked and you know a lot of different uh sanctioning bodies. So he was moved he was moved fairly quickly, you know, by I'll say what it was probably his I believe fourteenth fight. When he fought Jake Rodriguez, uh, he knocked the guy down. This was for the IBF uh, title, 140-pound title. Um, he knocked the guy down in the first round. It was more like a flash knockdown, you know. You know, then after that, the guy he was pretty much beating the guy pretty easy. This guy uh, he came back, Jake. Uh, Rodriguez came back in the fourth, in the fifth, and then in the sixth, um, Kasazu knocked him down four times. Kasazu had a very bad cut on his eye, so I think he was trying to because this was his first title fight. He he maybe was panicking a little bit, and he was just coming at the guy, just throwing pu punches, trying to get the guy out of there. He didn't want to, you know, he probably didn't want to get the fight stopped on cuts, and it was a bad cut. He was running really, really, really bad. But he ended up knocking the guy down four times, outclassing the guy. He became the first born Russian uh, champion. Uh, then he had five title defenses. Uh, he fought guys like uh, Roger Mayweather. Uh, Roger Mayweather, we all know, was a pretty good fighter in his own right. Um... He beat two undefeated fighters within that five uh, IBF title reign. And um, he he met up with uh, journeyman and very rugged fighter Vince Phillips. I remember seeing Vince Phillips in a lot of fights. Vince Phillips fought everybody. He fought Vernon Forrest. He fought Ricky Hatton. He fought Sean Bay Mitchell. He fought a lot of guys, man. And, and he was always, always seeing... He like he's like one of those old dudes that get like that rugged skin and that that strong old body. You know what I'm talking about? That 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 strong old body and, and the man that just keep coming at you. Um now this was the fight that I thought Casa Zoo hurt. This is where him not moving his head came into play. Because Vince Phillips was an old wily veteran. He was awkward in there too. Cause uh Kazuzu, I seen Kazuzu miss more than he than I seen him miss in, in his previous fights. And it, he was taking a while to figure out Vince Phillips. He started, you know, hitting him. But Vince Phillips, to me, had a good game plan. He roughed Kasazu up in on, in the inside. And he was landing right hand at the right hand. See, Kasazu was getting hit by right hands by these other fighters. But they didn't have quite the power in their right hands like Vince Phillips did on that night. That night... Vince Phillips had some thunder in his hands. You know, they call Kazuzu the thunder from down under because, you know, he went to Australia. But, man, the thunder got him in this fight because Vince Phillips, man, was – was he dropped him in the seventh round. And then after that, it just seemed like it was downhill for, for Kazuzu. He's like he got tired again in this fight. But um, maybe he over, overlooked Vince Phillips. I don't know – if he did that or just Vince Phillips just had a great night or Kazuzu was having a bad night, but he landed some crisp right hands in the 10th round and slept Kazuzu and Kazuzu was still standing up and he was out. The referee stopped the fight. Uh, he lost his title. Vince Phillips, I mean, it was, a, it was not a, to me, it was not a terrible loss because Vince Phillips after that, he had three titles, title defenses so he validated that, you know, he was a, a pretty good fighter. He he fought, you know, and defended the title three times after that. 
So that was not a bad loss, but Kazuzu said that he had to rejuvenate everything and 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 go back to the uh, drawing board and um, figure out if he still wants to fight because that can be you know that could be a devastating loss for a young fighter that the, in the matter that he lost he got knocked out cold standing up. So uh, that was part one of Kazuzu's career. I'll be back with part two.